Edo Tribunal affirms Obaseki's victory. Hello, wonderful people. Governor Gordon Obaseki, in fact, this man has had legal battle in his life. Oh, yes. It's the definition of legal battle. You know, right from the minute himself and the Oshomole fell apart, right from the time things fell apart, Obaseki has been going from one court case to the other, especially since before the re-election of September 19, where he won and defeated Pastor Sage Ize Yamu, the same candidate, the same opposition he had in 2016. Before that very said victory, there were court cases before and after and still on. I don't know if this is the last court case, but there are a series of court cases. This man has been taken to court in no small way, to the extent that he had to hold on to God. I know that you guys have been following, but not too long ago, he was at the redemption camp, that is the ROCCG uh, camp in Lagos, to give thanks and to talk about how he had to seek for uh, spiritual prayers and covering. Today, another victory for him. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Thank you so much. A Doe election tribunal affirms Obaseki's victory. A Doe state governorship election petition tribunal on Monday evening affirmed the victory of Governor Gordon Obaseki in the September 19 governorship polls in the state. It dismissed all petitions filed against him and his party, the People Democratic Party, PDP. Five political parties have filed petition against the declaration of a go Governor Gordon Obaseki as the winner of the said election. But the justice, Husman Musa, led three-man tribunal while delivering judgment of the petition in Benin, unanimously dismissed all petitions filed by the aggressed parties for lack of merit. The tribunal held that the petitors could not sustainably give their claim and therefore award the sum of 200,000 naira each to Einek, Governor Gordon Obaseki, Philip Shaibo, against one of the petitors, Alliance People Movement, APM. So this is what is happening. Rather than defeating Obaseki, they were the ones at the losing end. Because at the end of the day, the judge said, you know what, eh? let me teach you a lesson. Never again take Obaseki to court. That is when God fight for a man. You see, I'm not saying Obaseki is all perfect or he has dot all his eyes and crossed all his teeth. T's. However, when God fights for a man, you can tell. I believe in my opinion that, you know, uh, what has happened... The courts, you know, in Nigeria, not just in Nigeria, in our judiciary system all over the world, you are not guilty until proven guilty. They said Obaseki had no results. Could there be an element of truth or where did that stem from? However, today, you know, the, last night, the court has finally said it, that whether you like it or not, you have not proven beyond reasonable doubt that this man does not have the set result that you are talking about. That being said, it goes to say that Governor Gordon Obaseki be, remains the governor of Edo State because the argument was he did not he did not have the legal uh, educational qualification and the certificates or the uh, accompanying documents which should be part of his uh, academic records that he accompanied with his certificate with the INEC form C9 was fraud and according to INEC. That is punishable by J terms, and uh, you know, uh, even money would have been paid. So, this has been the serious issue. It started with APC, with Shumole, uh, Pastor Sage Ize Yamu. A lot has been going on. However, they say everything that has a beginning will surely have an end. There is no way you go to an endless party. That only happened after we have all lived here. You know, you live at, on, in the, on the earth. You spent the time you should spend on the earth. You've, I mean, you've done all that God has asked you to do. And then you go back home. Then you join the feast of the endless party. Other than that, on the face of the earth, says there is a time for everything. A time to be born and a time to die. 
as, as hard as people might not want to accept or hear that is actually one of life's facts and reality. A time to laugh and a time to cry. In life, there are various seasons and there are various times. However it is, remember that you are not in that season forever. Make the right decision, whatever opportunity and whatever life is posing to you at now. It's time to take probably uh, an audit of your life. Where am I? If you are in the season of abundance and plenty, be wise. Maybe you should save. Maybe you should affect a life positively. You never can tell. This is how you leave a legacy. This is how you affect a life and leave traces that becomes a big tree. And tomorrow, even your great-grandchildren will benefit from. You know, so probably you should affect a life positively encourage somebody, support a family, support a child, genuinely give without expecting a reward, without expecting a comeback. Because when you genuinely give honestly from your heart, you are giving to God. See, but if you are in a season where it's like it's a low time, not too much, and um, you're barely getting by, it's a bit of a struggle, I think that's a time to evaluate uh, what could I do at this time. Maybe you learn a learn a trade, uh, pick up a course, uh, watch around your environment, what can I do, who can I assist, even in this time, how can I be of help, how can I be of benefit, rather than resorting to self-pity, and then uh, why, 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 why not? I mean, it's a time, I think, even at a very low time, it's also a time of sober reflection, where one can sit back and say, mm, okay, I've been in this season, I'm in this season now. You know, life, they say, even the world goes in circles. It goes round and round and comes back again. So just know that whatever season you are, it's not forever. It will get, things will get better, definitely, because it can only get better. Just take it from me. Uh, wherever I'm talking to today, I just want you to know that you are appreciated. You're doing a good job. Continue. If you're doing something wrong, please stop uh -huh. <laughs> and take a, take, take a turn, take a U-turn and make a, a decisive change to be better. You know, it's only can things can only get better. Ella reiterated. Remember that you have a voice. Yes, you do have a voice. Don't allow yourself to be intimidated, pushed aside or pushed down. You know, keep speaking and don't stop speaking. Say the right thing all the time and you will have a glorious one. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. We love you and uh, sincerely look after yourself. Bye.